Aloha everyone and welcome to a new video. It's another summertime arc and this time we have quite the cast here. I don't know why but I feel like Shannon is gonna be in more and more in this event than in the actual Arkham Quest. Yeah, I tried to actually open this game early and was nothing like is the event coming soon or not? But he finally came out. And of course I'm gonna get this skin. Actually I want to equip pistol in this scene, but eh, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. But yeah, we have a new quest to fill up the gap. Keep okay. your weapon at the ready. You never know what's around the corner. Oh, in Mansard. Oh yeah, I think I actually log off from Mansard to be prepared for this event. Ah, traveler. It so happens that a friend of yours asked me to pass on a message when I saw you. Someone left a message for us? Huh, who can it be? My beloved retainer, have you noticed that silver thread of which fate is woven, now twisting and twining itself around you? The Aug de Vertalung does... Mm, does... Grossen Kaleido Phantasmus will be watching you. Okay, I bet the, the moment you see this letter, you know that this is from Fizz. <sighs> Wow, she actually put you to actually say wall by wall. Well, hmm. Apologies. This message is unusually difficult to recite. Would you like to hear more? Uh, definitely sounds like Fischl's note. What should we do? Anyway, to summarize, Miss Fischl asked me to ask you to go to the plaza in front of the cathedral. Please meet her there when you have the time. She said that she will be waiting for you. Oh, Fischl. Such a mystifying message for such a plain and simple request. Well, if Fischl's expecting us, then let's not keep her waiting. Let's head towards the cathedral plaza. Huh, look at this. There you go. Imagine if Mona has some kind of pet. But I see Kana has oh wait a minute, I just have her uh, luck. Let me scribe. Imagine if she has that, that has some kind of companion. Attendance of the Princessin. Yep, here she is, the Weeb character. And us, the one that's gonna translate it all. Huh? Why do you show me this? I know this from where before. Hmm. Again, I know this from where before, from the. Starfall event. I think she was a free gift or something, if I remember correctly. I think I actually have a C6 last time I check. Or a 5. Which one is it? Retainer or attendant? Make up your mind. My apologies. Main Fräulein tends to use exaggerated expressions when she's in good spirits. Hey, Fischl! You were looking for us, right? Sounds like the fun started with that us. What's got you in such a good mood? And so the whisper of eternal night summons you back to my side. <laughs> Splendid. What a blessed reunion. A boon from beyond the eventide. Come, partake of this joy with me, my subjects. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And here's the thing. She's gonna be fun, fun. With Ito was fun to laugh at him. I really don't know. 
And I kinda know Kaza is gonna be implied involved in these two. Although how is it gonna be explained why she's doing here? Or how is it gonna get in tied to this? Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you again. Main Fräulein and I extend to you our most sincere greetings. Paimon wants to say a proper hello too, but Paimon has no idea how to uh partake. A normal person in the situation would simply say, "Hi traveler, how have you been?" Oh yeah, now I notice that uh, Mona has a uh, new update skin. The Traveler and I are like intertwined stars in the vast galaxy. You of all people should very well know the fate foretold by this meeting. Precisely. Lady Magistus, please refrain from such unimaginative utterances. Lady M... Mag... A what now? <laughs> Lady Magistus has long since become a citizen of the Imanakreish. She has the been what? serving as court archmage under one's command for some time now. <clears throat> That's what just again? my surname. Don't mind that. This is so embarrassing. You're here because Fischl asked Catherine to ask you to come, right? Indeed so, my archmage. Did even this appear in thy divination? Why, your powers are truly dangerous. Oh, for the love of... No, of course not. You told me yourself that you'd left a message with Catherine. <sighs> Excuse me. Anyway, in my case, she practically beat the door down to get me to come along. Whatever she says, please, don't be too astonished. Ah, uh, don't worry. We've been around the block. You can't phase us. Oh, faithful servants, one's homeland, the Imanachreich, which bears the darkest of all fates, draws near to this world once more. Stand with me in anticipation, for the glory of our kingdom is nigh. Oz, can you translate this, please? Uh... Wait, what? Indeed. Only one's most faithful envoys are fortunate enough to be privy to this great revelation. <clears throat> the Imanachreich is near Mondstadt. You know, now that I notice with this uh, rerun of this event, although I'm not sure it's gonna be the same date, but I start my let's play of this game with the kind of the end of the summer event last year. And this is gonna be kind of anniversary for me for this. Let's play. Man, dozen of videos. And I'm still proud of those. No, please. That will be most unnecessary. I know it sounds absurd, but there's actually something behind this, I promise. Basically, what Fischl means is... Oh, Lady Magistus! Ugh, all right, all right. Honestly. Look at me, a genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. The truth is that yesterday, Her Highness encountered the Spark Knight Klee outside of the city. Both being of great fame, they recognized one another instantly and began to converse. Why do that sound bad? But I think Klee works so great with the Oz. I don't know why. It was already getting dark, so, in that spirit of great compassion and care for which she is known, Her Highness personally accompanied Klee back to Mondstadt. On the way, Her Highness relayed to Klee the story of her origins. Upon hearing the tragic tale of the fall of Her Highness's homeworld, the tender-hearted Spark Knight inquired, with tears welling up in her eyes. Oh no! Is the Imanakreish really gone? Won't it grow back? How <laughs> you gonna react? Okay. I don't know why that's funny, but... Oh boy. So this gonna be clean because... <laughs> clean world is in this. Won't it grow back? 
Oh my god, don't tell me Kree actually tell Fitz about Dinos. Although that... I don't think those are supposed to be a secret. No, I think it's supposed to be how they got to their a secret. Oh, mortal! Your sovereign's heart is touched by thy sincerity and sympathy. But nay, the Imanok Reich is an everlasting realm. And one day, it shall make its reappearance. Really? So how do we make your homeland grow back again? Oh, please tell me. Please, please. <laughs> I bet that the, the voice actor even have too much fun in this. Oh. I cannot say the voice actor in that over rising. But from the water is a clip of that before it got time to travel back. OSVA, it's kind of funny to say, but okay, this is uh, gonna be fun. And Ita is known to be seen around, and that's perfect. Hmm. Since you inquire so earnestly, <clears throat> give unto me a tranquil haven, promise me eternal admiration, lend me both time and wind, and one shall revive one's home world. Could you cut the reenactment and just get to the point? In short, Klee gave Fischl an island to serve as the promised land where the Immernach crash will appear. I didn't believe it either at first, but then I saw this letter. How? When? Since when do Klee... Uh, now that I remember, Alice kind of said that she made the island for Klee to play around and stuff, but I don't think it was... To own the island. But isn't the island kind of, you know, deep down and not gonna surface for millions of years? Again, this is actually fun stuff, but. Oh, hey! Oh my god, Alice, really? You gonna dwell in this? Oh my god, she's gonna make things to us. Providence has gifted Main Fräulein with an excellent opportunity. Esteemed traveler, as Main Fräulein's cherished retainer, you deserve to bear witness to this grand moment with us. This island looks kind of familiar. Well, because we cannot visit that place before. Really, Pama, you don't remember the first recording of the island? Traveler, curtail thy umming and awing at once. The throne of the Imanok Reich calls for me. Come, be my blade. Clear the way and witness what is to come. Actually, no, because this is the second kind of story event that has a follow-up. Albedo has his thing with Dragon Spine, and now this is gonna be a thing with Gold Amper Pego. But again, something like the uh, major issues with this event is that they are time limited and they don't have a real. They're actually gonna be a new chapter of this, and if you miss, you miss out, and you have to look up videos on YouTube if someone recall that. But I guess with the popularity of this game, everyone is gonna record, you know, how much they can. But again, this is kind of an odd thing about these events. I... I think she just wants to invite you along to the island with her. Huh. That being said, I have a feeling that I'll be better off not performing any divination where that island's concerned. Huh? Why not? Lee is involved in this, which means her mother is probably involved, which means that old hag is involved. <sighs> thanks, but no thanks. Oh yeah, because Ali's mom is friend with her master and... Oh yeah, now that I can remember, 
Mona kind of meets up with Klee in her story quest. Although how... As, uh, Alice and your master kind of distance or something like that? You, who have traveled to the farthest reaches of the world, fathom the celestial path of stardust in the palm of your hand, and witness raindrops converge and become one with the undercurrent of destiny. You. Yes, you. Wait, is this kind of what we break, break of us doing the gacha? Must chart the course that leads the way to the land promised to main Fräulein by fate. Oh, Fischl doesn't know the way there. Well, do, well so do I. We just travel in the back of a dagger. for our help, Paimon can tell us you that we are good friends with the Spark Knight Klee, the Guides of Destiny. Okay, I have to give them credit for actually using bad mouse in this. Come on, just play along. Behold, the Watcher, the Guide, the Weaver of Dreams, the Traveler. <laughs> excellent, most excellent! To sum up, <laughs> Traveler, since you say you know the way, we'll let you take us to the island. I mean, the Promised Land. Oh, good, fine, done. Uh, right now, um, Lady Magistus needs to go home to pack her things and catch up on some sleep. Your Highness, your uh, other distinguished selves, let's meet at the city gate at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Very well, then it is settled. One blesses you with an undisturbed slumber, Lady Magistus. You too, Traveler. Main Fräulein means to say... Good night. See you all tomorrow. About darn time! Good night! Oh, <gasps> I'm on six. Look at that face. I don't know why, but this movie is kind of weird. Like, we actually force ourselves to actually try to move. <laughs> anyway, since those islands are a pretty mind blowing place. Why don't we get some people with mind-boggling ideas to help us out? Kaya's mind works in mysterious ways. But no one in Mondstadt has ideas that boggle the mind quite like... ...a certain somebody who's definitely going to be in the tavern at this hour. Come on, let's go rope him into helping us. What are you two doing here? What are they doing in Mondstadt? Well, look at that! You're really here! Come on, take a seat and join our delightful conversation. Wow! Traveler! Paimon! Speak of the devil! We were literally just talking about you! <laughs> Truly a curious coincidence. Kazuma? Shinyan? What are you doing here in a Mondstadt tavern? And how'd you end up having to share a table with the Tone Deaf Bard? Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> now that's 
a fun stage name. It seems like you're a pretty well-known singer, fella. Though sadly not a rock and roll singer, where we could perform a duet. So, you all know each other. My newfound friends are my old friends' friends from afar. <laughs> How fantastic. Oh, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it, uh, the Free Poet Society or something like that. Yeah, I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazaha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Last month, Beto held a big booze-filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship, and she put me in charge of the music. And that's where I met Kazaha. Although Shinyan can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and original. Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. Okay, I kind of like this because characters actually live like characters, like meet each other, and maybe stuff like that. And okay, I'm gonna take that because although I'm not sure about the Arkham Quest, you know, the main story and other events, but I'm gonna take what I can. Oh, you can say that again. In Kazaha's hands, even a leaf becomes an instrument. That makes him an expert among my friends. Now something that I think about is how could it be to see a new event when we see Lisa interact with other guys? Like imagine her interact with other Electro girls that can add the support for the leaders. Like Beidou and Yaimiko. Many imagine that interaction. Starting from Liyue, we passed through Stone Gate and kept going until we came into Mondstadt. Then along the way, we saw this really awesome manor. It was something else. Oh yeah, we know the one. Our friend owns that place. Really? Y'all sure have a lot of friends. Well, whoever it is that lives in that fine place must be really loving life, huh? Uh, guess so. <laughs> Similar souls tend to attract each other. Traveler and Paimon, you must have exceptional taste, just like that friend of yours. Wow, you're too nice! Unlike some people who only ever seem to poke fun at Paimon. Ahem. <clears throat> By the way, do you know anything about the Iridescence Tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor has it that all seven nations of Tevat are gonna be involved. Say one now? The all seven nation? Better speed up all you know, girl. Well, so far it's mostly just empty promises. Anyway, it's supposed to be a music festival. The organizer really did a number on me last time. They canceled on me. But I hear that they're still active. Oh, is this uh, kind of connected with the, the other event where with the, the dungeon thing with the pup? The purple dot thing? I cannot see it right. She was kind of involved in that, too. I'd love to give the festival another shot, but wouldn't you know it? The plans fell through again! How can they mess up this bad twice in a row? And I bet they're gonna mess up again and again just to have you for some reason in this sort of I bet in Sumer you're gonna be there because of this reason again. Mark my horse. Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. But fear not, weary travelers, for your journey was not in vain. It has, after all, brought you here, to me, to the Temple of Music. Your Temple of Music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't you? A song's gotta have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? <laughs> exactly. Ah, oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories with you. <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella. Are all bards like you? I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. <laughs> I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, by extension, the poverty of theirs. And on that note, here is a fantastical tale that is sure to delight you all. Ahem. 
Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There, the Dodo King and his people live a blissful existence. When a Dodoko is born, it dives into the water. Some learn to swim. Others are carried away by the waves, all the way to Mondstadt, where they befriend the children there. One Dodoko made a new friend in Mondstadt, the little Spark Knight. But the Dodo King did not approve. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. Don't tell me this is gonna be like some kind of catch up in case people miss out. So the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the wind and waves, finally reaching the middle of the ocean. But Dodo King was not there. Dodo King had lied. There was no trial, by fire or interrogation. The little knight's mother, who was a mage, had built an entire summer city there as a gift to her daughter, along with this message. Summer is the season of love. It is the time for freedom and fun. So everyone, please sing, dance, and enjoy yourselves here. Interesting. I now have the urge to visit that island myself. This is the thing about traveling. You can't plan ahead. Better to leave when the mood takes you and go where the heart leads. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Well, there's wine on the table and I have stories to tell. Seems like fate is feeling kind today. Here's to music. Come on, traveler. Don't worry, if you don't like wine, there's juice as well. In that case, I'll have a glass of juice. Hmm. This one. I like the color. Oh no! Kazuha! Uh-oh. This fella's drunk. But, uh, wasn't he drinking fruit juice? <laughs> more, 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 <laughs> more, more, please. <laughs> Oops, I think I accidentally placed some fruity cocktails out there. <laughs> My bad. <sighs> Seriously? Anyway, guess it's time to talk about business after all that drinking. You came here because you need my help, I presume? Oh, yeah! That's a good point! We didn't come here to drink! Yeah, Venti, we may need some answers. Actually, answers from the important stuff. You can kind of forget about that. Because things are getting gonna to start up, like, the Faturi are here. And I think they're gonna be after you for some reason or another. Or both. Or generally. 